you have no debating skills. You have no talent whatsoever. You better stay in university because you ain't going anywhere on YouTube. And you will be forgotten about. from the bat, I'm gonna let you know that I fucking hate this game. This game is, is hard for the sake of being hard. And what I mean by that is there's no fucking rhyme or reason for the enemies this early in the game to be so fucking difficult. Like, as soon as they start hitting you, you're fucked. You're fucked. I've been grinding the first part of the game for the last three fucking hours just to get some decent gear. I finally get somewhere and then they throw something else at me. Like, this fucking game is just hard for the sake of being hard. There's no fucking reason for the for any game ever to be this hard. Everybody's like, well, Dark Soul 2 was this hard. And if you fucking enjoy this you're a fucking asshole! Well, guys, I really don't know what to say other than we are in for a very, very big treat today because we're going to be taking a look at probably one of my favorite YouTube videos to ever be uploaded in the history of YouTube.com from probably the biggest brained YouTuber out there, or at least he used to be, who goes by the name of HippoZoned. Now, long story short, you know, me and HippoZoned, we didn't really see eye to eye on a lot of stuff, but sadly, his channel got deleted by himself twice, and all of his videos went with it but fortunately enough for us today I managed to save quite a few of his videos onto my computer before he did delete his channel and luckily that includes this timeless classic we're gonna be taking a look at today called Dark Souls 3 sucks angry rant now as you may notice he does put the little angry rant there at the end of his title just like Dreamcast guy and honestly man I must say that is so considerate of him to do I really like knowing what I'm getting into to before I click on a video, so thank you. But basically, the entire argument of the video can be boiled down to a very, very salty man-child who is angry that Dark Souls, a game infamous for being hard, is actually hard. That's right. I mean, who would have fucking guessed, dude, that Dark Souls 3, the fucking third game in the Dark Souls series, would actually be difficult, dude. Like, what the fuck did you expect when you bought the game, and why the fuck are you saying the game is trash? Because, you know, God forbid, the game known for being difficult is actually difficult, dude. Like, honestly, you would think that you would need a fucking PhD to figure this shit out, but you really fucking don't, man. Like, it's really not that complicated. But then again, we are dealing with a very low IQ person. So without further ado, guys, sit back, relax, and get ready to enjoy this masterpiece of a YouTube video. You know, you know I, I finally got my hands on Dark Souls 3, and let me just let you know, I fucking regret getting this game. Like, right from the bat, I'm gonna let you know that I fucking hate this game. This game is, is hard for the sake of being hard. And what I mean by that is there's no fucking rhyme or reason for the enemies this early in the game to be so fucking difficult. Like, as soon as they start hitting you, you're fucked. You're fucked. Now, hold on here for a second, because I have a very good idea for you here, buddy, okay? Maybe you could always try to avoid taking damage. Now, it may sound crazy. But just give it a shot. I mean, it's not like From Software put in mechanics into the game for that exact reason to help you avoid taking damage like, you know, shields, maybe the dodge roll mechanic, maybe learning the move set of enemies that telegraph their moves on purpose so you know when and when not to strike them. I mean, no, it couldn't be that simple. It has to be the game is just unnecessarily fucking hard. I mean, let's face it, dude. Dark Souls is the only franchise out there that, you know, actually gives you a challenge from the very first level. I mean, fuck it, dude. It's not like that's the entire point of the game and it's not like the area you're in which is the beginning area is filled with a bunch of fucking borderline <laughs> retarded enemies that literally you can kill with two swings of your axe or sword like yeah it's not like you know from software is easing you into the game because you know the enemies get progressively more difficult i mean if you're having this much trouble now you're gonna love the game later on let me just tell you i've been grinding the first part of the game for the last three fucking hours just to get some decent gear i finally get somewhere and they throw something else at me like this fucking game is 
is just hard for the sake of being hard. There's no fucking reason for the for any game ever to be this hard. Everybody's like, but Dark Souls 2 was this hard. And if you fucking enjoy this, you're a fucking asshole. Who fucking wants to struggle for like a couple hours? And then everybody like, well, maybe you're just not that good. No, it's not about being good or bad. It's about making one wrong mistake and you're fucked. What kind of game is that? I mean, it sounds like you're talking about a Souls game <laughs> if you ask me, dude. It's not like that's really been the concept of the games, you know, ever since Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, and now, of course, Dark Souls 3. It's not like you're supposed to die, learn from your mistakes, go back to where you were, and use what you learned to do possibly better next time, dude. It's not like that's the entire fucking gameplay loop surrounding the Dark Souls series. I mean, it couldn't be that, because if you enjoy these games, there's really no other way to put it, man. We are just fucking assholes for daring to like a video game that our lord and savior Hippo Zone doesn't like himself. I mean, this is some pretty good foreshadowing, considering this video was uploaded well before the entire Epic Game Store situation, and he literally has the exact same fucking attitude. Either agree with him, or you're a fucking asshole. You don't know what you're fucking talking about. You know, it's just amazing. The hypocrite was at this longer than we originally thought, but can we just appreciate that this man thought grinding for gear in the first area of Dark Souls was somehow gonna carry him through the game without him actually learning how to play the game? I mean, I really wish I could have seen this man live stream this game. You can't make one mistake? How is that a game? That's not a fucking game. I don't play games to fucking be perfect at them. I, I play games to get away from the bullshit of the real world. To, to just forget everything for a little bit and not be stressed out. But no. No, as soon as you make a mistake on this fucking game, you are fucked. You are screwed if you fuck up once on this goddamn game. Well, man, if escaping reality kind of your thing, maybe you should just buy a fucking VR <laughs> headset or some shit. I don't fucking know, man. Like, this is not the game for you. I don't know why the fuck you're buying Dark Souls, expecting a casual experience. I mean, then again, we are dealing with a very low IQ person. I've been playing the same part so fucking long that I can basically speed run through it until I hit a big guy and then I'm, I'm fucked. And then, and then don't get me started on the blocking mechanic. It is so fucking retarded that the enemies can block you 100% without stumbling, but they can also knock you out of guarding and then fucking wail on you and hit you with one hit. Take you from 60 to zero health in one hit. Come on now, like, that's not even fucking legitly, like, even remotely legit. Come on now, like, that's not even fucking legitly, like, even remotely legit. Okay. Again, just some more veteran advice for you here. You know, maybe try not getting hit. You know, do a dodge roll. Maybe, you know, use your shield. Maybe learn the move patterns of the different enemies. Learn where they are in the map so you don't get fucking surprised. You know, it's not like Dark Souls is all about trial and error. No, it couldn't be that. I know what I'm trying to say here, but basically what I'm trying to say is that is some bullshit right there and the developers know it. And, and whoever wanted a game to be this fucking difficult is it, it, just, they're fucking stupid. Like, honestly, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, I didn't play Dark Souls 2. I didn't play Dark Souls 2. And um, you know what? After playing this for, for the last three hours, I'm, I'm glad I didn't play Dark Souls 2. I'm so fucking glad I didn't play Dark Souls 2. Like, there's no fucking reason for a game to be this difficult. Oh, I'm sure the developers are more than aware of how bullshit it is, dude. That's why they keep making the games, and that's why people keep buying them. It couldn't be that you're just in the minority in this situation, you know? It couldn't be that people might just like something that you don't. It could just be that not everyone demands a fucking easy mode while they're playing a video game because they want to quote unquote escape from reality. It's not like developers have their own vision for a game they want to make. No, everything must be made specially for none other than our lord and savior of gaming, Hippo Zoned. You know, I'm all for a challenge like the next guy. I'm all for trying to earn the shit and all that other shit. I'm okay with that. But I can't even enjoy this game because I'm, I'm constantly repeating the same fucking part over and over and over again. Did I ever tell you what the definition of insanity is. Insanity is doing the exact same fucking thing over and over again, oh, expecting shit. shit to change. That is crazy. And that's just, that's just one of my gripes, right? So another gripe is I don't even know where the fuck I'm supposed to go half the time. And then they put some invincible enemy in front of you who kills you, makes you lose all your fucking souls, and then if you go back to try to get him, there's a chance he's gonna get you again. 
And sometimes they kill you to a point where you actually can't get to. They don't give you any direction. They just assume you're going to find your own way while running through badass after badass. They, there's no fucking story. I have no idea what's going on. I just know that I'm some dead guy killing other dead dark soul people or souls or I don't know. Man, I don't fucking know what's going on. Oh my god, dude. You don't know the story yet? Even though you're still stuck in the first area of the game? No shit, you don't know what's going on. You are in the first area of the game. Do you think they're just going to give you a cutscene at the very beginning and tell you every single thing that happens? You know, spoiler alert, here's how the fucking game ends? No. You have to play through the game. Dark Souls is all about environmental storytelling. You have to figure out the story as you go along. No shit, the story doesn't make sense. When you haven't even progressed through the first area. Like, this is common sense, dude. What the fuck did you expect when you were getting into this game? Were you expecting a telltale game where, you know, they tell you everything that you need to know at the very beginning and you just click your way through a nice little story? Uh, you know what? Let me just clarify because I know a lot of people are probably going to attack me after getting this far in the video. Gee, I wonder why. So I'm going to clarify it here, and if you don't get this far, I don't give a fuck anyway. I'm not saying Dark Souls is bad. What I'm saying is it's a fucking frustrating and, and overly challenging piece of shit. I'm not saying Dark Souls is bad. Now, does that mean it's a bad game? No. If you fucking enjoy it, then you fucking enjoy it. So let me get this straight here, okay? Dark Souls 3 is not a bad game, but you literally just called it a piece of shit. And earlier, you said anyone who likes the game is a fucking asshole because the game sucks because it's unnecessarily hard. Like, what the fuck is even going on here? But I'm not enjoying constantly doing the same shit over and over and over again. And if that's your fucking twist, then, well, you like doing repetitive shit. But I don't. And there's a reason why games allow you to progress at a certain point. There's a reason why games... Games give you different difficulty levels. This way you're not fucking stuck behind a wall. If you want that challenge, then you should get that challenge. But I don't want that fucking challenge. I just want to enjoy a game that looks good, that I can kill some ugly, disgusting monster shit and have a good time. I don't want to fucking have to turn a corner and be worrying about what's going to kill me next because every little thing can kill you. So why did you buy the game then? Dark Souls is not that. Like, what the fuck? This is the same argument that these clown-ass games journalists use going, we need an easy mode and Sekiro because, you know, we aren't fucking good enough to finish the game, and, you know, we wanted easy mode so we could just breeze right through it. I mean, this is the exact same argument. What can I say, man? Hippo zoned. He was ahead of his time. This this game is just, it's, it doesn't make any sense to me. It really doesn't. Like, I'm, like I said, I'm all for a challenge. I get being challenged. I get being pushed. I, I get having to work hard, but this, this doesn't make any sense. Like I said, if you make one fucking mistake, you gotta do it all over again. Who the fuck wants to do that? The millions of people who enjoy the Dark Souls series. Like, Jesus, man, you are in the minority in this situation. Most people love Dark Souls for that exact reason. Some people like this type of game. Some people do. And you know what? I would like this game, too, if it had some reason. If the challenge was within reason, I would like this game. I'm not going to continue to repeat shit over and over and over again. <laughs> that's kind of ironic considering that's what you were doing this entire video, but you know. But, you know, I am going to try to continue to play this game because I hate fucking being beat. I hate being beat. I hate when things are better than me. I hate when anything gives me a challenge, so I like to overcome that challenge. It's just my ambition. The, mo the harder it is, the harder I try. And I'm going to fucking mainly try to do it for the sake of giving my calm opinion on this game, my calm review of this game. But honestly, I don't know if I can do it right now in this angered state, so I'm going to go calm down. Imagine being that salty over playing a video game. But, like, angrily, right off the top of my head right now, being so angry, I would rate the game like a piece of shit. So I'm gonna cool down, try to beat this game, and see what I can come up with. Because this is by no means a review, this is just me blowing off some steam. But my fucking god, does this game have me frustrated. I really want to punch a hole in my monitor, and that's not a good thing. I'm done with this rant. I'm done. I'm, I just had to get that off my chest. I really did have to get that off my chest. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching. Hippo out. Well, man, you know, I would really love to subscribe for more, but, you know, when you delete your channel, it kind of makes it hard to do, so sorry about that one, Chief. But if he's having that much trouble and is getting that salty over the first area in Dark Souls, I can only imagine how bad it's gonna fucking be when he gets to that swamp right before the Abyss Walkers, dude, where you get poisoned, like, every three seconds. Like, that part legit pissed me off. Not enough to make me want to punch a hole through my fucking monitor. But, yeah, you know, I don't have fucking anger issues. As we came to find out, our 
buddy Hippozone did in fact have. But anyway, guys, that does it for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed this nice little trip down memory lane. Sadly, you know, our buddy Hippozone is gone from YouTube and we no longer have his quality big brain takes on gaming to respond to. But you know, this was a fun video to make. You know, I have a couple more videos saved. Who knows? Maybe I'll make another Hippo video in the future. I don't fucking know, man. But anyway, guys, in the words of our great pal Hippozone, we're going to close out this video. But before we get to that, I just want to thank you guys so much for all the recent support and for taking the time out of your day to check out the video as always. And I will catch you guys next time. Now a message from our pal Hippozone. God rest his soul. You know, see, before I go to bed tonight, even though I announced my, I might come back. You still got these fucking idiots that keep saying, oh, it's your fault. You got in trouble because of you. It had nothing to do with him. It's your fault. Blah. Make fun of this face. Please do it. Because the more you fucking talk about me, the bigger this is going to happen. And I will happily be the next DSP because I will make money off of it. So keep fucking with me.